wanted to know what is this van life thing all about. So we decided to get a van. For the next couple of days, this is going to be our home. And we're gonna be bringing it with us everywhere we go, from camping to the beach. But first things first, we need provisions. Cause we are getting hungry. So let's hit the road. Oh my gosh, this is really happening. Oh my God. Now we have to like figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> Look how big it is back there. Oh man. It's actually kind of bigger than I thought it was gonna be. We're just driving around a house. Naturally, we drove it home to see how it looked in the driveway. <laughs> I mean, we can dream, right? Looking at the map, there are like three Publixes that we're gonna pass all on the way to our beach spot today. So we're just gonna pick one of those Publixes. And you know us. We don't necessarily go to restaurants a lot, but we love grocery stores, so then we can get a bunch of things and then whip up a good meal. And we have just the place to do it. We're going over a bridge! Woohoo! Ugh, stuck in Daytona traffic. Right next to Main Street. This is actually where they're about to have bike week in a couple weeks. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. We actually did a video on bike week. What did we decide we're making tonight? Oh, what are they called? The flat things. Oh, quesadillas. Quesadillas. Yeah. You're gonna see what we do with this later, it's really good. I don't think I can fit all this in the van. I have to think about the small space of the van. I think I can fit it in my belly. That's true, we are gonna eat a lot of this before. Yeah, it goes bad. She says, don't get a cart. <sighs> it's getting a little bit heavy. Well, imagine if we got the cart. Oh yeah, true, <laughs> right, overflow the cart. Crunch time. Sweet home. Here we are. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, the fridge is a little small, but I think we can make it work. I'm up for the challenge. This is so cool. I mean, right there is A1A. All these cars are passing by. People going to the beach, and we're just home. This is kind of neat. I think I could get used to this. I think I got it all to fit. I am really surprised. Are we missing a bag somewhere? No, the rest doesn't need refrigeration. I think we are all set, which means we passed van life test. <laughs> Let's get to the beach. Ooh, watch the soft sand. What do you think? I think this is a beautiful spot. I can see the ocean right where we're sitting. I think we should get on the roof. That would be nice. Well, we made it to a really nice parking spot. We are on A1A in Flagler Beach, Ormond by the Sea area. That is not a bad view behind me. That is a nice view. Oh, and it's nice and crisp. I love this weather. I think I may have lost her. Got the hummus. I think I'm gonna have some of this feta. Right here. Perfect. We gotta find like what's in these drawers. We haven't even really had a look around. So we need plates, which I imagine are kind of to the left of the sink there where you are. That's very handy. Bon appetit. So first thoughts, what do you think? I'm loving it. Yeah, me too. It's exactly what I thought and hoped it would be. And I'm thankful to people who do rent out their vans like this because, you know, rent it before you buy it. Mm -hmm. And we found a, another Instagram couple, Chad and April, and they have been traveling all over, but they wanted to give other people the adventure that they love so much. Mm -hmm. And we are ready for adventure. Mm -hmm. 
But a big test will be, of course, can we stay the overnight and like still love it by morning time. And I was sleeping in a tight space. Yeah. We like yeah. tent camping. This is like exactly many levels up. So it's luxurious. Yeah. Just a quick little beach walk with our parking spot right there. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. This is a good place to go if you're trying to kind of avoid the crowds. So the Ormond Beach area. Definitely a beautiful area. provided one in here. Look at this. Oh, Aww. we each have Ooh. one. Oh, it's a heated blanket. That's amazing. I could get used to this part. <laughs> Being able to relax anywhere. <laughs> Relaxing in a van was really unique. Our own little space hidden from the busy world outside. Now it's time to try something exciting and also a little scary. I can't believe I actually got her to come all the way up here. But... Every time a car goes by, the whole van shakes. Whoosh. Like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat the view though, right? It's really beautiful. <laughs> it's a very beautiful sunset. We actually had plans to sleep at Tomoka State Park in Ormond Beach. But it turns out it's actually only for tomorrow night. So tonight, yeah. we're not sure exactly where we're going to sleep yet. I think we just have to figure it out. But we have some ideas. I guess that's part of van life. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is cool though. Ah, I love it. All right, might be acceptable, but still hot. Okay. Chamomile. Mmm. Oh, thank you. We're debating where to go after the sun sets. It's in between. Walmart and Cracker Barrel, van life. I gotta pee. Uh oh. Where do we pee around here? <laughs> well, technically, we have an emergency bathroom in here, but we're not gonna use that. I think we're gonna have to go drive and find a place. Beautiful. We are in the land of palm trees today. Daytona Every Beach, year. Florida. Look at that. Ooh, no way. So we only drove, I would say maybe 15, 20 minutes down into Daytona and we saw a park. It's a Volusia County park along the beach. And the sign said you can park all the way up until 11 p.m. And so we figured we'd make some dinner. Hmm. What is that? Ooh, tempeh. We're gonna put uh, some liquid smoke in there. So it's gonna make it kind of seem like a smoky meat. <laughs> Sate. Mm. Mr. Ormish, Cracker Barrel, how can I help you? Yeah, I was curious. I'm coming into town with a camper van. Is it okay just to spend the night for one night? Yeah, I would have to be behind it because right now we do have a lot of RVs parking right now. Huh. Well, Cracker Barrel is an option. They said there's a, a lot of RVs, so that makes me feel a little, little safer. We've got a spot tonight! Yay! Ooh, shh. There's still people around in the park. I don't want them like thinking we're having a big party in here. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Okay, wraps, cheese. Okay, we need to get stuff. Yeah. These wraps are awesome. If you guys are gluten free and you're looking for like good soft wrap and you don't mind the taste, slight taste of coconut, these coconut flour wraps are amazing. We've used them a few times, but I really like them. Boom. Oh, baby. Yeah. Actually, I shouldn't say that too loud. We're in a parking lot. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, how about that? Oh, my God. 
That looks good. Is it ooey gooey? Oh my gosh. Mmm, good. Good job. I will never forget our first meal in a van. I know, me neither. If we seriously buy a van, make that purchase, and then build it out and put all our heart into it, and blood, sweat, tears probably, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. then we wanted to make sure it was right for us. And just yeah. to think that another couple had driven all over the country in this, that's pretty neat. I'm looking at the map right now, just all over the All place. those lines? It would be a lot of fun. One day we should dig a really long road trip like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cracker Barrel, here we come. Oh my god, you guys, we made it. We made it to the Cracker Barrel, and it looks really good. Big RV, there's a guy pulling a trailer. Yeah, quite a, quite a bit. Yeah. And everyone looks like they're already asleep, so we try to be very quiet coming in. Well, guys, good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Want to see more? We invite you to subscribe because next time, our van life trial experience continues at Florida's Tomoka State Park. Will it be everything we've ever dreamed? See you next time. Hello? Okay, is it cool now? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you got bogged. Do you want me to kiss you? <laughs>